Okay, Cleo, it's time to go, honey. But mom, I'm Blitzen. Oh, and Santa's still working. Okay, Blitzen, one more time around and then we go, okay? I mean it. Yep, come on, all you reindeer. Santa needs us. <laughs> So he's 35. He's never been married. Okay, there is trouble right there. No, he's just waiting for the right one. And it could be you. Oh my gosh, can you hand me that star over there? You made this? Oh yes, it's my new line. They're all handcrafted and original design. I love it, how much? Oh, this one is actually not for sale. No, probably for the best. Cat would break it in a second. <laughs> okay, now about Mr. Wright. He's a software engineer for a new startup company and he's a dog nut, just like you. Great, Holly, I told you, I'm just, I'm not ready. Ashley Jane Harrison, you said that six months ago. Yes, exactly, it takes six months for a broken leg to heal. Just imagine the complexities of the human heart. You have to learn how to rebuild trust. You've got to learn how to let your guard down again. You've got to recalibrate your truth meter. A mm. truth of what? You know, your truth meter. The little meter in your brain that lets you know when your so-called boyfriend is lying when he says that he's 100% over his ex-fiance? Huh. Yeah. Clearly, my truth meter is out of whack. I told him we'd all have drinks tonight. <laughs> Are you kidding? Come on, one drink. You've got to get your game back. No, I have to get on an 8 o'clock flight. Tomorrow. It's holiday travel. I am going to have to get up at the crack of dawn. You're making excuses. Exactly. If you really want to meet someone, oh, you got to... No, I don't. So... Oh, here comes Blitzen. Okay, fine. This is me backing off. Okay. Have a good trip home and uh, say hi to your mom. How's she doing? Um... You know, she's... she misses Dad. Yeah. I'm ready, Mom! Okay, good job, honey. Well, tell her that Blitzen and I that we send our love. I will. She'll like that. Okay. <laughs> all right. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas, Ashley. Merry Christmas, sweetie. Okay. Bye, all you reindeer. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Ashley! Bye! Go to the ticket agent. I don't have time. I will miss my flight. Yeah, like you care. Check that lineup. Excuse me, does anybody mind if I just jump in front of the line because my flight's really soon, okay? It's just checking. <sighs> Look over there. Let's cover yes, all the right away. Okay? Could you spell your last name again? Again? Because you think it maybe has changed since the last five times? Are you sure it's Harrison is in Sun, S-O-N? Make sure I had to spell my own name. <laughs> yes, Ashley Harrison likes that. Hmm. What? What's that look? What's huh? I'm afraid you're going to have to stand aside. No, no, no. I have a reservation. An agent will be right over. But can you stand right in there, 10 please. Minutes. You don't understand. I need to be on this flight. I have to get. Because I need to go right to... back over there, please. My mother is right in Seattle. Over there. She's expecting me. It is Christmas. Okay. 
I know I should have booked my flight earlier, but I've been knitting like crazy trying to get my inventory ready for this holiday season, and... I mean, come on, please, look, I have calluses from knitting. Did you even know that was possible? An agent will be right with you, Miss Ashley Harrison. Next in line! Just one second. Hi. What if I give you this? Look, it's my best seller. It's pure Angora wool. It's really soft and lovely. It looks really beautiful on you. It brings out your eyes. Okay. Airport professionals do not accept bribes. Okay, well, can you at least just tell me why? An agent will be right with you. Happy holidays. Next! I can't believe this. Look at all the cancellations. Look, every single flight. Every single flight. I mean, can you believe that? Great. Plan B. Hey! Hey, you can't go over there! Hey! She's moving. Just your regular run of the mill car, just something that goes forwards and backwards, because I'm just going to Seattle, so it's not You're something funny. That... Why? We have exactly one car left on our lot, and by we, I mean everyone. All of us. The whole airport. Okay, that's I'll fine. I'll take I... it. I'm sorry, you can't do that. Whatever it is, I'll take it. Okay, first of all, airport professionals do not accept bribes. Nice scarf. Driver's license and credit card, please? Yeah, sure. Drop off a round trip. Uh, drop off in Seattle. You can't do this. I was here first. I really need to get up to Seattle by tomorrow, so... I really need to get up to Seattle, and I was here first. I would like to know why we're not talking about the fact that I was here Insurance first. Insurance and prepaid gas? Sure. You know what? I have a really good idea. Why don't we split it? I'll take care of the rental car. You take care of the gas. <laughs> like, I'm gonna get into a car with a stranger. Especially one who bribes very unprofessional airport car rental people associates. Agent people. I don't... Well, it's your call. I mean, it looks like we're both going up to Seattle, so... No, because I've seen this movie, and I know how it ends. Some quasi-attractive, charming, friendly, wrinkled shirt guy ends up being an axe murderer, and the soundtrack is like... Dun -dun 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 -dun. That's Jaws. Please sign at the bottom. Uh, well, you know what? I don't care what it is. This is ridiculous. This is unprofessional. Well, suit yourself. Merry Christmas. And to you, sir. And my shirt's not that wrinkled. I cannot believe you. You're mean. Okay. I just want to go to have Seattle and do not have a Merry Christmas. Hang on. Hang on. Call your mom. Call my... my mom? Yeah, call your mom. Let me talk to her and then I'll know that you're... Not, not an axe murderer? Yes. Come on. I need you to do this, please. I can't believe this. Do what? Do you want me to pay for gas or not? Hey, Mom. Hi, um... I have this girl that wants to speak to you. She doesn't know if she can trust me. I'll explain later. Okay, here. Mrs... Sutherland. Hello, Mrs. Sutherland. Hi, this is Ashley Harrison, and I was just calling because I wanted to talk to... No, 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 we're not going on a date. We're just maybe gonna share a car ride together. Mm-hmm. He looks okay, I guess. I mean, he could he use a shave. Me? I am 29. I was born and raised on the West Coast. Okay, all right, wrap it up. <laughs> okay, I think we actually need to get going. But, um, hmm? Me? No, I've never been married. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's great. Fantastic. Wonderful, Mom. Thank you for doing that. All right, I love you. We'll speak soon. You satisfied? Yes, she was nice. Although she said you need to call her more often, but who doesn't call their mother? What is wrong with you? Oh. This really is the only car on the lot. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Oh, uh, 
that? No, I've got it. <laughs> I don't want you thinking I'm some needy gal. You must know, Independence is my middle name. Who relies on strangers to catch a ride would be a more appropriate name. Hardly the pinnacle of independence. Oh, you're funny. See my face laughing? <sighs> Elizabeth? My name is Ashley. No, your, your middle name. While we're on the topic, it's Elizabeth, right? No, it's not, Mr. Mind Reader. <laughs> Why do you want to know? Just making conversation. Trying to get to know you better. Who knows, you could be the axe murderer. Right, because a guy can't be too careful these days. It's Jane, if you must know. Jane was going to be my next guess. Right. It's Ashley. Jane. Harrison. Son is an S-O-N? Yes, I'm absolutely sure. I asked her a number of times. And her demeanor? Did she seem anxious? Paranoid? Cold sweat? She seemed miffed. Of course, who wouldn't be right? I mean, I'd be pretty miffed, too, if I couldn't get on my flight with the holidays and everything. What was she transporting? Transporting? Luggage, bags, containers. Uh, suitcase, I think. And she had a purse. We mean anything out of the ordinary. No, I, I don't know. Like what? Anything. Think. A red box? What sort of red box? Like the kind most of my passengers are carrying this time of year. It's Christmas for heaven's sake. Harrison, Ashley Jane, Caucasian, date of birth March 5th, 1986. She said she was a knitter. Suspected collaborator, trafficker, possible courier for known foreign subversives. Placed on the no-fly list on April 2015. Didn't have a photo of her until she tried to check in for her flight this morning. So what are you doing? You're not missing flights. I'm a crafter. You know, I make things to sell at craft fairs. And I didn't actually miss my flight. Uh, something weird happened. Oh, I don't know what I did. But... What are you doing? Oh, chapstick. What? Can't find my chapstick. Well, why don't I call CNA? We have to stop. Are you serious? I can't do a road trip without my chapstick. Well, good, because we're not on a road trip. We're just in a car going someplace. On a road for two days in three states. Uh, that is a road trip. Oh, there you are. Your chapstick? No, that's still MIA. What are you, what are you doing? I sound like a broken record here. You really do. Just a little Christmas spirit. You know, I'm embracing the festivities of the season. Also, you're tailgating. I'm not. Or two. For your information, tailgating is when you're less than one car length away. Times miles per hour. You're going 60 miles per hour, you should be six car lengths behind. Who taught you how to drive? A little old lady from Pasadena? Trust me, I know how to drive. Well, regardless, I can't go 12 hours without my chapstick, so we need to stop, please. Please? In and out, in and out. What if we have the wrong woman? Don't be naive, Hobbs. Do you think our enemy's gonna use a courier who looks like a terrorist? No. They're gonna recruit the most homespun knitter they can find. Someone you take into your confidence. Someone who likes puppies and show tunes and bakes sugar cookies. Ashley Jane Harrison. Hmm. Snow, it won't be long before we'll all be there with snow. Snow, I want to wash my hands, my face, and hair with snow. Oh, Irving Berlin. Come on, it's so good. What is Christmas with no snow? Come on, Christmas is the best time of year. Tell me you're not going to sing show tunes the entire time. So, what do you do when you're not being a big party pooper? I... paint houses. Really? You must be really good because you do not have any paint on your hands. I mean... You actually have really nice hands. It's just something that I noticed. I wasn't really looking for any reason in particular, just that I have not very nice hands because I have calluses on them and everything. Oh my gosh, is that the time? Oh, thank you. Okay, we really need to go because, for the record, I'm never late. For the record, I didn't want to make this stop.
What are you doing? You're gonna freeze out there. I'm just a little bit woozy. I'll be fine. Okay, glad to hear. <sighs> okay, so why are you in such a rush to get to Seattle? What? What's in Seattle? Nothing. <sighs> nothing. You stole my car for nothing? What are you, meeting a girlfriend or fiance or something for Christmas? I'm just going up there for work. Are you painting a house in the winter? No, not that type of work. Mm, Mr. Mysterioso. Well, what about you? Where's your boyfriend slash fiance over this holiday season? Oh, sorry, I can't hear you. Ha! Mrs. Mysterioso. Really? Mr. and Mrs. Mysterioso? We just met. Is that a Freudian slip? I told you I paint houses. And you talk about Freud or psychology and it's, it's over my head. <laughs> well, that's the whole point of the unconscious mind. It's when you're not aware that the real truth comes out. I was a psych major in college. Well, excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an expert in the car. Mm -hmm. We have assets in the field. We could have her apprehended by noon. That's not the plan. My gut says she's on a mission right now. We'll just tail her. If we keep it discreet, she'll lead us to her people. Mm, risky. I guarantee you, somewhere between here and Seattle, Ashley Jane Harrison's gonna make an unexpected stop. She'll make a drop at her contact, and then Agent Hobbs, we strike. All right, I'll keep you informed. Huh. What? Check engine light just came on. No, I always just ignore that. Why am I not surprised? So, according to the agent, Harrison left the rental lot at approximately 9 this morning, which... Which puts her somewhere north of Esparto, maybe Vacaville. Hobbs? Yes, sir? Contact the Sacramento Bureau. Put Agent Gregson on her tail. No contact. Just backup until... Can't. What? Gregson's on Operation Sentinel, so we really don't well, have anyone who... There must be someone. Well, there's the new guy. Who's the new guy? You don't want the new guy. Agent Phelps, FBI. Phelps, I understand you're ready and able to serve your country's national security. Yes, sir. Take this down. Oregon, Yankee, Hotel, Alpha. Four, four, three. Oh, Yankee Hotel Alpha four four three. Yes, sir. Subject is a female, early thirties, Caucasian. Now we believe she is a courier for known enemies of the country. Your assignment is yes, as in terrorists. That is what I meant. Your assignment is to tailor. Okay. Do not make contact with her, but I want to know where she is every minute of the next twenty-four hours. I want to know every person she meets with, everyone she talks to, what she's thinking, every... No, I did not mean that literally, Phelps. Correct. You can't know what she's thinking. Uh, Phelps, listen to me. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. That's what the man said. Okay, you can do this. When opportunity knocks, you open the door, you embrace it, tail the subject, no contact. You got this. This one's personal, Phelps. Don't let me down. Wait. What do you mean by personal? What kind of personal? Oh, come on, focus, focus, concentrate. Okay. Success is all about a second letter. You. Let's go find an enemy courier. Yankee Hotel Alpha 443. Jinx. Don't do that. What? I work for Claudette Colbert. Who? It happened one night. Claudette Colbert, Clark Gable. That was a movie. This is real life. This is us missing an opportunity. Just observe and learn. If my memory serves me, the car stopped for Claudette. Yeah, that was a movie, This Is Real Life. Where we still have no service. Well, unless somebody doesn't put up a cell phone tower in the next few minutes, it's pretty much gonna stay that way. 
Aren't you so funny? So what are we supposed to do now, smart Alec? Someone will come along. I'm sorry, was that a note of optimism, a little positivity from you? How'd that happen? And if they don't, then we'll just walk it. Next sign of life, this way. <laughs> really? Yeah, come on, we're on a road trip. A little adventure. <sighs> Great, okay. Yes, good. This is fine, a little exercise, a little fresh air. Yeah, have her. Eight miles. N no. Come on, Claudette. Positive thinking. What? Claudette Colbert, just less effective. Dude, stop staring, please. Your eyes are gonna fall out. Yeah, but look at her. I'm taking Bailey Thompson on the junior class ski trip. That is totally sick. Yeah, except now your parents are gonna kill you when they find out you didn't renew your car registration. There you go, enjoy. Because you spent your money on Bailey Thompson's ski package, Travis. Hey. How's the latte? Best one yet. I have to get going. Oh, see you around. Best one yet. What, did you put a heart in her phone? You know, jealousy is not your best quality. Jealous? Jealous of what? One day you're gonna thank me for showing you how to think outside the box when pursuing your goals. Me and Bailey Thompson. Thanks, man. Every little bit helps. You know, maybe you should put out another tip jar. Help underpaid barista pay for his car insurance and registration. Dude, your buzzkill is showing. So how'd you get your heart broken? Well, guess. Mm. It happened about a year ago. He said he was one thing, it turns out he was something else. What did he say he was? Single. I just, I can't understand how people can lie about who they really are, it's so mean. But, for the best because it helped me develop my own personal trust test, which is foolproof. I'm all ears. Santa Claus. A person who believes in the idea of Santa Claus is fundamentally a good person. <sighs> Santa Claus. Yeah. It means they believe in hope and generosity and reward for good behavior. So what happened when you flunked out of psych? Haha. -ha. Are we there yet? We're close. So, do you? Do I what? Do you believe in Santa Claus? I believe in advertising. Ow! My feet hurt. Not too bad, how about you? Could be better. Yeah, I suppose. Car just broke down. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Do you have a ladies' room? Oh yeah, just uh, in the bay to the right there. Thank you. So, uh, what seems to be the problem? Okay. She's on the phone, sir. Did she make the call or receive the call? I can't tell. She has her back turned right now. She's made contact with someone. Hello, hi. Where do you 
doing out here? Cold yeah, can you believe I picked up those little buggers on the side of a road? People these days, no tenderness. So you want to take one of these little guys? Really? They're free, but only to a good home. Oh. You have a fenced-in yard? You have any young kids running around the house? People don't know that young kids can scare the heck out of a dog. Oh. You know? Because mm -hmm. they're all like, ah, look at it, look at it, ah. <laughs> to a dog, that's a sign of aggression. I can, I can see that. And that's how dog bites happen. We blame the dog. It's all just a cross-cultural misunderstanding. Mm. You know what? Happens to people too, you know? You just can't get past the insecurities and prejudices. She's talking to some guy. He looks rough. Rough? What kind of rough? Biker, sir. Like, that kind of rough. She's got contacts everywhere. Was there a handoff? Looks like a puppy. A what? She's got puppies in her hand, sir. Uh, looks like he's giving her one. It's a very cute puppy. All right, well, keep your eyes on him. We'll find out who he is. Yes, sir. I'm on it. There it is. Thanks. Keep the change. Thank you much. I'm Blade. Oh, cool. <sighs> so, you got a safe home for one of these little guys? Um. Which one? Uh, okay. I'm thinking my mom might like this little guy for Christmas. And don't worry, she has an enclosed yard. Okay, okay. That's a good thing. Enclosed yard. And I like your energy. Yeah, all your chakras are lining up. I like that. So yeah, I can see this. Plus, you, uh, you pick my favorite one. Oh, well, if it's OK with you for me to take him, I'll name him Little Blade. Little Blade? If that's OK. Hey, Little Blade. You grow up to be a bruiser, OK? You hear me? <laughs> Make me proud. OK. Thank you. You're welcome. Should we go? Should we go? We got okay. Oh my gosh. Look what I found. Look what I found. Oh, come on. He's from my mom. Even you cannot deny how cute this face is. Hello. Is there a problem? I'm just uh, encountering a little bit of resistance. This is my new friend, Blade. This is my um, traveling companion, Dash. Dash, you got a problem with the puppy? Might not be the dog. You know, it's a proven fact that having a dog in your life raises your endorphins. Makes you live longer. Gives you compassion. Endorphins? It's a proven fact. I bet you believe in Santa Claus. No, I'm Jewish. OK. So, come on, man. Get the dog for a mom. And on top of that, he already has a really cool name. Little Blade. Seriously? Now that was your axe murder. Yeah, you cannot judge a book by its cover. OK, he was nice. And now I have this wonderful memento to remember this adventure. Well, <laughs> I just hope your little memento doesn't have an accident in the car. Don't listen to him, Little Blade. He's a grumpy pants. I know what will cheer you up. Cheer you up, yes. Look what I found. I've got eyes on them, sir. Report anything suspicious. Follow the protocols, agent. Any response from the NTAS? Yes, they responded. I also consulted NCIC and IDW for any chatter being tracked, and nothing, sir. There are no active terrorist cells being monitored in Reading. That doesn't track with what we're observing. They're missing it. We're on to something big. Stop worrying, you're gonna get ulcers. You know, every time you say stop worrying, something bad happens. That is so not true. The time we snuck into the movie theater. Oh, Zip, that was my fault. Who knew the manager was standing right there? Okay, fine, the time with the trampoline. You practically broke your wrist. Okay, it's the price of glory, dude. Look, it's not my car, I paid my car insurance. Were you, like, born an old man? I'm just saying, besides, I'm a good friend. If you had spinach stuck in your teeth, me being a good friend would let you know. Spinach will not pass through these lips, trust me. That's not the point, Travis. 
Okay, I get you're being a friend. And yeah, I, I should have listened to you when I did the trampoline thing. Okay, but here's the deal. What are the chances some cop is gonna see my expired tags in the next three weeks? There's like, what, five million cars on the road? And 21 days between now and when I have enough money to pay for the new tags. So that's like, what's five million times 21? It's a one in 100 million chance I'm gonna get caught. Dude, I'm not sure your logic is tracking. The point is, no cop is gonna see my expired plates. Okay? Thank you for being my friend. Okay, now it is time for your daily dose of trivia. Did you know that Highway 5 actually has five different names? It's the Montgomery Freeway, the San Diego Freeway, the Santa Ana Freeway, the Golden State Freeway, and the Westside Freeway. I did not know that. And the section in Sacramento was actually built below the water table, so you can't see it from the offices downtown. It's called the boat section. A psych major with a minor in highway geekdom. <laughs> oh no, it was my dad. He loved road trips. Every summer, him and my mom and I would just hop in the car and ride the highway, as he liked to say. He always thought that the interstate highway system should have been one of the wonders of the world. Do you know the real name was the Dwight D. Eisenhower National System of Interstate, interstate and Defense Highways? highways? How do you know that? Nobody knows that. I just do. Okay. That's crazy, but you don't tell me anything. There's nothing special to tell you. Everyone has something special about them. Call your mom. What? Call your mom. I want to no, know why you're so secretive. I'm not, I don't want to call my mom. Please. Knock yourself out. What's her first name? Can I call her that? Shirley. Wait, Shirley's her name or Shirley, I can call her that. <laughs> oh, hello, Mrs. Evelyn. Hi. Yes, it's Ashley again. Uh, no, 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 everything's fine. Um, uh, we're just outside of Sacramento. Yeah, <laughs> uh, actually I was calling because I wanted to know what the most special thing about Dash is, because he won't tell me anything. <laughs> well, besides that he's your son. Seriously? What? What is she saying? What is she saying to you? Uh, yeah. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Bye. Did she tell you that I was an Eagle Scout? Were you? Now you know everything about me. Actually, she told me that you were a hero in Afghanistan. Hero's a bit of a stretch. We are now entering the town of Mistletoe. Established in 1857, population 947. Do not blink. Or you'll miss it. What? I don't know. Uh, I just... Uh, look up ahead there. What? I've been here before. Don't even think of it. Oh, please. Of course we'll stop. <gasps> Mistletoe! Lost? I can't remember, but I've definitely been here before. Making an unplanned stop in a town called Mistletoe. We're on it. Mistletoe. Stay with her, Phelps. Don't let her out of your sight. I remember thinking it was like a gingerbread house, and there was eggnog, and there is eggnog. It's okay. Oh, and they were best pies. Everyone was eating pie for dinner. There was this man with this crazy beard, and I remember I was so scared, and then my dad made me laugh, and everything was okay. Do you believe in Santa Claus? <laughs> uh, of course I do. Do you? Yeah. Then you get to make a wish, and I'll put it on the tree. But don't tell her it won't come true. Oh, I will not scout's honor. You could hang it together if you like. I would love that. Do you 
this one. Okay. This one? Good. Can you hold this, please? Uh, why not? Shall we? See, some people get embarrassed, so I do it for them. Oh, well, not me. There is nothing I would like more in the world. You ready? OK. Good job. That is perfect. Thank you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What about you? I'm going to put a star on the tree for Santa. No, I'm starving. This is all we got on Ashley Jane Harrison prior to 2012. Before she landed on our radar, it was like she was a model citizen. Look, she volunteered as a nurse's aide at 14, wrote for the student paper in college. Jeez, her credit score is better than mine. Sir, are you sure that Radicals this is... are made, not born, Hobbs. Who knows why she turned? Look at Patty Hearst. Kind of a different scenario. Keep digging. Check her phone records, her travel history. Who are her contacts? That is who we're after. Hobbs, you gotta follow your gut. And mine says, code orange. I am not gonna let another enemy agent slip through my fingers again. Sir? It's nothing. This early case I had, a lot like this one. The perp seemed so innocent that I took my eyes off. It nearly ruined my career. But I learned a good lesson, eyes on the clues. And the ones that seem innocent, they're the most devious. So weird and wonderful. I mean, they even have hay rides. I wonder if this is where my dad got the idea. What idea? Saturday is our town's Christmas tree lighting ceremony. It's a tradition my mom and dad started. We make cookies and hot cocoa, and the whole town comes out. And as soon as it gets dark, just zing, the whole tree lights up. And then my dad would rent Mr. Bennett's hay truck and give hay rides. I don't think anyone will be giving hay rides this year. Even if I was in China, I'd find a way to get home for it. And this year, I really need to be there to make sure my mom's not alone. That's why I need to get home. Well, as long as we don't hit any traffic in Portland. What's the matter? <clears throat> Nothing. Let's get the check. Excuse me. Mm, my pipe. Check, please. with them, sir. Excellent work, young man. Well done. And you're sure that she didn't see you? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Background checks and personal information is refreshing. We're updating all known foreign groups between San Francisco and Seattle. I promise you one of these will be her contact. Now, you listen to me, Agent Phelps. The next 24 hours are crucial. Do not lose them. She might seem innocent, but this woman is a threat to our national security. Understood. Copy that. What are you looking for? Nothing. It's been kind of quiet since we got back in the car. Is everything okay? Freud speaks. <laughs> no, just the female powers of perception. And I'm bored. <laughs> so now we're getting to the truth. Oh, are we? In that case, tell me something. What? I don't know anything. Tell me, uh, how did you get your name? You won't believe me. Just try me. <laughs> my, uh, my mom loved mystery books. So she named me after her favorite writer, Dashiell. Hammett? The Maltese Falcon? Hey, no, this is a squeal free zone, okay? Oh! The thin man, I love him. You scared the dog. He's fine. 
And, oh my gosh, his love affair with Lillian Hellman, I mean. That's my sister's name, Lillian. I don't believe you. I told you. No way, I'm calling your mom. No, 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 yep. don't, you're not calling my mom, okay? Ashley. Fletcher, where's Hobbs? I'll find her. Hobbs, get in here now. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Sutherland. It's me again, Ashley. Uh, I'm sorry, I hope I'm not bothering you. Of course not, dear. I was just doing up the dishes in the kitchen, and as a matter of fact, I was about to call Dash. Might I have a quick word with him? Just a quick question. Oh, yeah. She wants to talk to you. Hi. Mom? And there you go. Excuse me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Open door. Try some good tunes? Huh? What? No, I mean, yeah, I guess. I just remember I gotta grab something from in here. My son's into somebody Mars. Oh, Bruno. Yeah, cool. Cool. Hey, no texting and driving. Sure thing. What did I tell you? Dude, you see that? Cops practically touching my expired tag. If I get a ticket, I'm gonna be grounded for like a year. No ski trip, no Bailey. Are you just figuring this out now? Yeah, but I got a plan. I saw it on TV once. Dude, I'm the man. likes you. <laughs> Do you have a little puppy crush on your Uncle Dash? <laughs> Do you want to hold him? Uh... No. Let's go. Come on. I'm, I'm hungry and a little tired. You should have eaten your whole burger then. Probably. Well, maybe we should stop and get you some food. I need to get some supplies for Little Blade too. He must be cold. He needs a sweater. Something cute and Christmassy. Hey, Blade. Wait, Blade? Who's Blade? The, the puppy. puppy. Uh huh. And what should we get you, Grumpy? Would a snack help you? Yeah, maybe. Okay, because I have a whole bag full of candy canes. You know what? I'm, I'm okay. Forgive me. You're a grouch when you're hungry. You're kind of a grouch all of the time. I was a gentleman a few minutes ago. That was then. <laughs> Cheer up. We're stopping soon. 
Our subject's getting ready to make a stop. What's your location, Agent Phelps? They're heading into town, sir. I'm tracking them. Got them. Right behind them, sir. This is your plan? Stealing someone's plates is not, not sure fire. No, no, not stealing, swapping. Good to know the distinction. Dude, you aren't gonna get grounded. You're gonna get arrested. Trust me, right? The key is to find a car that's the same make and color. I saw it on TV once. I saw a guy live cockroaches on TV once, but it doesn't Score. mean that you... Really? Dude, I'm hounded by good fortune. That car is exactly the same. Dude, score. Stylish and practical because we have to keep little Blade warm and a toothbrush. For Blade? No, for me. Okay. Well, we should get to Seattle in time for Groundhog Day. Be very critical parents, didn't you? Psych 101? Well, I'm right, aren't I? Little Blade knows I'm right. Ooh, look at all this stuff. All right, let's do it. Another marina scenario. Sir, I don't think it is. It is. I thought you said he was stable. He has passed every evaluation since the incident. Get Agent Phelps on the phone. Yes, sir. Does this look like a man who has stayed objective? These are so cute. Come on. So cute. Okay, I'm going a little bit overboard, aren't I? Yes. No, 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 no. Every dog needs a pair of Christmas slippers. Oh, that's so cute. Come on. Why not? Understood. Yes, sir. Yes. Wait, just the one word, sir? Just the one word. Marina. He'll understand. Y yes, sir. Sure you got everything? Yes. Is that your first? I can always tell. I shopped like a maniac for my first baby. By the time these two came along, I would just go for the essentials. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right, Peek and Boo? Except for the hair barrettes. I'm still a sucker for those. <laughs> so what breed is your little guy? Oh, you know, he's a mutt. We found him in a cardboard box on the side of the road. Oh, bless your heart. Saving a little soul from the shelter. Your wife has a heart of gold. No, no, we're She not. does, indeed. What is it? Marina. This is a little bit. Are we done? Hurry. OK, almost got it. This is just like the movies. Yeah, right before the sidekick gets nailed. Scalpel nurse? What? I always wanted to say that. Give me the screwdriver. Come on. Why would you? Yo, hurry, come on. Don't see what's happening. Guy trying to get in his car. Enough with the puppy, okay? What is your problem? I just want to get on the road. Do you not like Blade's sweater? I just want to hit the road. <sighs> okay, one minute. I think we're friends and you're nice. And I think you talk and that you care, and the next minute you're actually. Like See that cute puppy? Dude, focus. We're playing for higher stakes here. Come on.
no, no. Whoa. All right, give it to me. like this, my parents and I, we just used an excuse to stay inside and just watch movies all bundled up together. My mom's favorite was Brief Encounter. I have no thoughts at all, only an overwhelming desire never to feel anything ever again. I swear she started crying at the opening credits. That movie was Pavlovian. I don't know that one. It's with the aliens? <laughs> That's close encounters. <laughs> I'm glad you're talking again. We have a long drive still. Ashley, there's things that I wish I could explain, but I can't. You understand? I'm sorry. Yeah, you said that last time too. And I mean it, I swear. Hey. Which was the nice one, Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde? Because I forget. Monroe, sir, we found them. They ran a red light on Maple Avenue and Eugene. Good agent Phelps. Yes, sir. Phelps, we found them. They ran a red light on Maple Avenue and Eugene. Okay, I got it. We're approaching Maple Avenue now. So you're half an hour behind. Maybe less. Trust me, sir. I won't lose them again. I'm on it. Oh, are you okay to drive? Should we stop for the night? Yeah, maybe we should. Well, according to my calculations, we're approaching a township about 10 miles as the crow flies. According to your calculations, yeah, as the crow flies. What? Well, hopefully there's a motel with a vacancy sign. Oh, that reminds me of it happened one night. You know the scene where the car breaks down, they have to get a ride? Enough with that movie. You know, when they go to the old motel and they have to stay overnight, but there's only one room, so they have to put a sheet down the middle? Don't get your hopes up. There'll be two rooms. Don't get your hopes up. My hopes aren't I up. I wasn't hoping. I was just telling you about a movie. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference. Mm. Besides, you probably saw it. For the record, I don't. Mm. I don't believe him. Mm -hmm. I don't. I know. That's all we got. I can't believe this. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Are you sure? You only have one room. Well, yeah, we're fully booked. Only a fool wants to drive in this weather. Do you have a spare blanket? blanket. What, you moving in? Force of habit. I travel so much for work, craft fairs and art shows. <laughs> We're all gypsies, and this makes me feel like I belong somewhere. Hungry? I'm starving. Well, I think there's a place that's still open down the street. Uh, that's fine. You need to powder your nose or whatever, freshen up. <laughs> I'm afraid this is as good as it gets. Do you think uh, Blade will be okay here? I don't know, you tell me. He looks happy. I'll have the desk clerk check in on him. Bye, puppy. Harrison's original flight plan. SFX to SeaTac. We know this. The stop at PDX. Portland. Exactly. What's in Portland? OK, listen up. I need a computer run on all known nefarious groups, criminal activity, and anti-government watch lists in Portland, Oregon, ASAP. Oregon. Sir. Yes, sir, copy that. OK. Her mark is somewhere in Portland.
I played football, tight end, number 23. Okay, were you any good? No. Pretty good. Yeah, for you. Wasn't as good as my brother, he was the golden boy. I was always the family runner up. Can I get you guys anything else? Oh, uh, no thanks. Okay. The check, and we prefer cash. I'll get mine, you can get yours. It's fine with me. You know what, actually, can, you can do me a favor. Can you change the, the song? Oh. Is it just me or is it the same one I've been playing all night? <laughs> you find a way to change it, mister, and dinner's on me. That's the boss, reminds him of his ex. What, is it the same song, plays every night? You got it. After a while, you kind of get used to it. <sighs> Have a good night. Uh, you too. She deserves hazard pay. Mm. So, is that why you joined the army, to get out of your brother's shadow? I forgot I was having dinner with Freud. Mm-hmm. So am I right? Maybe. I wanted to do something to make our world a little safer. We live in a world of bad guys these days. You know what I mean? I don't like to think like that. Although, <laughs> I guess I did have my wallet stolen last year. They got into my bank accounts and my credit cards and my computer. But I guess that's you're talking about. Mister, I can't understand what you're trying to order. Maybe if you just point to each. Uh, excuse me, he's trying to order a steak. Oh, thanks. <laughs> He'd like it medium with a uh, baked potato and uh, sour cream. Okay. And his friend would like a hamburger with french fries. Okay, great. Come right up. How do you know sign language? My dad was deaf. You know, he taught me there are no disabilities, only challenges. And everybody has challenges, you just can't always see them. You just never know what people are going through. Which is why it is so important to treat everyone with kindness. Anything? She's talking about her dad. He was deaf. Likely story. I'll keep an ear on Sutherland. Make sure he isn't going soft. My dad was so great. You know, he just, he always showed up. Anytime I need somebody to believe in me, there he was. Now that he's gone, I don't know who's gonna do that for me, but I guess the answer is no one. <laughs> but time to grow up, right? Me like that. You just surprise me, and I find myself. Oh, uh, he wants to know if I'll dance with him, with your permission. Of, of course, be my guest. Sure, yeah. I have not done that in a very long time. You look good. Thanks. Shall we? Yeah. Like 
snowing. <laughs> Tell me more. More what? More you. Your favorite color. Green. Ice cream or cake? <laughs> Both. What's your ultimate dream? Um, well, I want to stop moving from town to town, living like a gypsy. And I want to open my own shop. You know, let people see what handmade things look like in our mass-produced world. I like that. You have a name? I do, actually. Crafty. That's a terrible name. What? <laughs> it's, it is. No, it's so good. It's crafty. <laughs> I make crafts and knit things and ceramics yeah, yeah, and yeah. leather goods. Yeah, it's, it's like dishonest, shifty, crafty. <laughs> OK, I did not think of that. Oh, it doesn't matter. I would never be able to afford it anyway, so. <sighs> You're none of those things, are you? Shifty, dishonest, crafty. You're about as real as it gets. Aren't you, Ashley Jane Harrison? I became a soldier so I could do my part, help keep our country safe, and I did. But it's the work that I still do. The truth is, I don't really paint houses. Something happened on one of my first assignments back in the States. I was in EXD, the Canine Explosives Detection Program for Homeland Security. My partner was a German shepherd named Marina. Intel told us that there was a bomb planted on one of the docks down the harbor. It was dark. The perp started running, and I had a split second to order Marina to engage. It was what you trained for. Even if it meant sacrificing your life. And I couldn't do it. Understand? My emotions got in the way of my job. Marina was reassigned. I was a liability. I was sent back for evaluation and more training. I'm telling you this because I'm actually an FBI agent and we're full. Ashley. I just can't get enough of it. So I noticed. Guys, Thanks. look at this. What's that? Will anyone report a lost cell phone? No, let's have a look. I found a cell phone. And it's nice. Huh. Well, nobody calls for a week, you can keep it. Ooh. Hobbs, is this thing working? I uh, 
found a lost cell phone here. Yeah, it was just sitting here in the pool table. Fletcher, Hobbs, we have a situation. Get in here. We've lost contact with Agent Sutherland. What, like he's gone AWOL? Or he's been taken hostage by Ashley Harrison. Hostage. I told you she was devious. A person who believes in the idea of Santa Claus is fundamentally a good person. It means they believe in hope and generosity and reward for good behavior. What? You're not a believer? In front of me? I'm Santa Claus, you don't believe. I mean, I uh, think I might have forgotten how. Don't, don't mind me. There's a lot going on in my life right now. Merry Christmas. They call it falling in love, because it's scary. How did you? Out here, uh, I see a lot of faces. And yours, my friend, is an open book. No, no, no. This face doesn't give anything away. I'm a trained professional. Or at least I was up until last night. You quit? Yeah. I mean, they got it all wrong. She's a, she's a sweetheart. She doesn't have a criminal bone in her body. She's kind and... I don't know why I'm telling you this. I mean, you must have something when you get off your chest. I mean, it's just I'm having a bit of a scattered morning, that's all. So all of this trust and belief business is suddenly nagging at you. Yeah, right. See, the trouble with skeptics is they tend to be loners. Believing in things, uh, people, the miracle of Christmas, love. None of that comes easy to them. Do, do you remember what it was like when you were a little boy and you couldn't get to sleep, got up early? And under the tree, Santa had brought you everything you'd ever hoped for. Well, love is just like that. You just have to let go of doubt and believe in it. Do you think... Do you think it's possible to... to remember how to believe? I have a feeling that you've already answered that. Oh! Oh! I just love this part! Christmas. Fletcher, contact the Portland office. Hobbs, you come with me, tell them we're on our way. And I need an APB on license plate. Yankee, hotel. Alpha you got it? 443, I got it. Ashley, about last night. Um, don't don't say that you regret it. No. No, not at all. Good, neither do I. I just I wanted actually to... have a favorite tip. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead. No, you go ahead. You have a favorite ask? Yes. Uh, I was wondering, actually, if we could just stop in Wilsonville, which is just up ahead here. You want to make a stop? But I thought you were in a rush to get to Seattle. Oh, well, this will just take a second. What's in Wilsonville? <laughs> Nothing criminal. I just didn't see your face. <laughs> I just have to, um, drop something off to some friends. <laughs> Trust me, okay? I don't leave anything up to chance. Tell me you haven't figured that out yet. Yeah, but Enrique Iglesias, really? It's her favorite song, so I loaded it onto my phone. All right, we're gonna be up on the chairlift, you know, taking in the view. She's gonna be like, ah, oh, too bad there's not any music up here. And I'm gonna be like, music? You say music? And right, I'm gonna pull up my earbuds and let her share one. So that's your big move, huh? And there we're gonna be, me and Bailey Thompson, up on the chairlift, listening to her favorite song. Smooth. A real James Bond. Trav? 
Honey? Demo? How many free lattes are you giving to friends? Just a thousand of Bailey Thompson. So I just got last month's invoice for our beans, and I don't mind a few freebies, but honey, we are running a business here. Travis? Is that your car? I'm gonna be grounded for the rest of my life. Uh-huh. Where is she, Travis? She told me she was at the mall. The mall? Is she armed? No, they're having a sale on ski gear. You are a person of interest in FBI investigation regarding matters of national security. I'd advise that you speak truthfully to me, Travis. I am. I promise you. Okay, then what is the plan? Tell me the plan. I bought a ski package. Bailey loves to ski, you know, and I was thinking we'd do this cute little romantic dinner thing. Who's Bailey? Bailey Thompson, the girl I'm seeing. Kinda. And she... She works with Ashley Harrison. I don't know Ashley Harrison. Better be telling me the truth now, Travis. I know I shouldn't have switched the plates. My tags were expired and I could not mess this up with Bailey. I know it was extreme, but... <clears throat> right plates, wrong car. She switched the plates. Fletcher, are you on? Affirmative. Do we have the kids, uh... I got it. The kids' license plate Fletcher, is... Fletcher, I need an APP on license plate. Oregon, Lima, Mike, Victor, 935. You got it? Yes, sir. William, 6-1. Visual on license plate number Lima, Mike, Victor, 935. thinking about last night, it was so crazy when something important happens in your life and it's sometimes just when you least expect it, you know? Or when you've cut yourself off from feeling anything at all and then all of a sudden just there it is. <laughs> last night was something, wasn't it? Where are we? What is this place? Well, I told you, it's just my friend's place. I'll only be a second, I promise. Can you pop the trunk, please? <laughs> Okay, I'll just be a minute and then I'll maybe bring them out to meet you. Okay, take care of the puppy for me. I'll try. Agent Sutherland, are you safe? Safe? Where's Harrison? Wait, 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 you have this all wrong. Are they armed? No, she's in the house. Well, who else is in the house? Are they armed? No, no, she just dropped off a package, I got okay? something. Sir, the red box. Was it a red box? Did she deliver a red box? Yes, it's a red box. So what? You have the wrong person. What's her mission? I don't, I don't know her mission. There is no mission. Do you know what's in that box? No. Who's her contact in there? I don't know. Then Agent Sutherland, you don't know she's innocent. Sometimes you have to trust your gut. You have the wrong person. Bye. Stay where you are. Ashley Jane Harrison. Ashley. Chesley is still cut its Oh. What's going on? It's not what it looks like, okay? I'm Agent Monroe with the FBI. Are there any weapons in the house? Weapons? No, of course not. Well, I... Chesan Templa. Miss you. What are you saying? It's Romanian. She asked what's happening. Okay, these these are my friends. We work at craft fairs together. They help me make my reindeer mittens. Likely story. You tell them to stay right where they are. What? That's we are going to no, search no, the no, house. No, no, no. We are Wait, looking for a red no box. What? Call back what, 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 your mittens. Stand down, Agent Sutherland. Uh. I'll handle it now. Agent Sutherland? What is he talking about? Ashley, I tried to explain. Auntie Ashley, it's so pretty. Did Anya, Nadia, 
Get back in the house. Moving the Afado. That's what was in the red box? Yes, it's a Christmas ornament I made for their Christmas tree. Hobbs, take her in for questioning. You're gonna need to come with me, Miss Harrison. Hobbs, please, Ashley, I tried to explain last night. You were sleeping. I trusted you. I'm sorry. Agent Sutherland, you're no longer needed on this case. I didn't want this to happen, Ashley. This way. Oh, honey, it sounds like something out of a movie. I just can't put my finger on which one. A disaster movie. Oh, now. Of course they let you go. Think of it as an adventure. Like that movie with the romance writer in Mexico. Columbia, Mom, it's romancing the stone. Oh, oh that's the one. Well, think of it like that. And we got little Blade in the bargain. He's the best gift I could hope for. So. Think of that. Now, come help me make cocoa and cookies for tonight. You can't sulk all day. No, I think I might. <laughs> Mom, he lied to me. I thought he was everything I wanted. He was funny and kind and handsome and a really good kisser. Well, it doesn't matter anyways. Of course it matters, honey. <laughs> It's all a big fat lie. It wasn't any of those things. I wish that I had never met him. I wish that he had never been born. I wish his mother. Did I tell you that his mother wasn't even his mother? Did I tell you that? Twice already. Oh. Well, doesn't matter because he wasn't my type. Mm. I can see that. Mom? I lied. Is everything I've ever wanted. I love him. Nothing worse than being sad at Christmas. Does he ever change the music? Afraid not. Wow. But funny enough, you get used to it. Nothing like a Christmas pity party. You know, I never even got to convince her that I believe in Santa Claus. <sighs> well, it's never too late. Now you didn't see her face. She'll never believe me. I blew it. Well, if you really believed in Santa Claus, then you'd believe that miracles happen. And that tomorrow is another day. It's almost what she used to say. Oh, and we ID'd the perp that stole Ashley's personal identification. Her name is Damien Smith. I was right. She looks nothing like your Ashley. Come on now, 
honey. Christmas will cheer you up. I hope so. I just don't. Coco, oh, cool. you guys are the best. See? So, how have you been? Oh, you know, I keep myself busy. Hi. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> well, we're missing. Yeah. Oh, Christian. <laughs> Tree lighting isn't the same without your dad giving the hay ride. I know, I've been thinking about that all night. Dad wouldn't want us to be sad. Not tonight. It's almost Christmas. You know what he'd say, show joy, and joy will show itself to you. Now, come on now, let's go light that Christmas tree. It's time, my friends! Who wants to start the countdown? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let me. There's nothing I want more in the world. Wow. 